news courtesy of Amsterdam, the school. It is this. They've announced their last ever summer program. So it's not the last ever program ever, ever, because they've still got the year to go, because I think it's going to close, if I'm not mistaken, is it 2020? Yes, it's 2024. So the last date is 2024 January. So I need to actually go. I'm actually thinking to go to Amsterdam the end of July. That's actually my, my plan at the moment. To kind of go there and see Wild Guan the end of July and see catch a vibe and shit, um, and pretty decently. But Jesus Christ, the accommodation in Amsterdam is so expensive. It's even more expensive than Berlin. It's actually quite insane. The flights from London are pretty cheap. You can get an EasyJet flight from anywhere between like fifty pounds to a hundred, so it's not too shabby. But the accommodation I've seen for just a weekend trip is like in the three four hundreds. Airbnbs are super pricey. Um, all the Airbnbs looks like they're on the outskirts. I think there's probably some sort of stipulation or some sort of law they put into effect where they limit the amount of tourists that can stay in the city center. So a lot of the Airbnbs are like on the outside. You have to kind of travel in, but they're still pretty pricey. I see it's pretty nuts to be fair there's not a lot as well available on there it kind of reminds you a lot of the airbnb market um for berlin stuff personally um i thought berlin's fairly reasonable price place now berlin is reasonably berlin is a bit of a honey dick because berlin once you're there is really really cheap like you could if you want eat for basically five euros a day like including breakfast you could easily literally eat for five years a day including breakfast if you wanted to but it's the accommodation i feel like it's still a bit pricey it's basically 90 euros per night for a decent location but sometimes it goes up to about 200 euros and for the time i used to go you could get really big apartments for like 50 euros a night so that's why sometimes i'd be always booking myself a nice little you know um a nice little flat to myself. I'd even bring my streaming equipment with me and stream a couple of days because the fucking, you know, the houses were cheap and they were super big. But nowadays, you know, even a room, a private room in Berlin is pretty, pretty crazy. Pretty, pretty crazy to get a private room in Berlin um, is really expensive. The last time I went, I think I paid like 290 euros or something, maybe three, nearly 300 euros for just a couple of days or something it was not even that long of a trip and i was staying in the room of somebody's house you know what i mean i didn't even have the whole house to myself so that's why nowadays when i'm going i just would rather save up the extra money and just book a fucking hotel because another thing that i kind of seen that i've started to not like is the whole like exchange thing with keys and meeting up and stuff it just gets annoying so if you can because in my opinion i don't think there's any difference really between airbnbs and hotels in terms of price nowadays unless you go to some far-flung location most of the locations in europe they're all basically been jacked up in prices because you know maybe because of the pandemic and everyone rushing to go on holiday and stuff so it makes that a little bit crazy so that's a little bit annoying but overall um, I tend to now just save up the money and just go to hotels because usually you can get a decent hotel for the same amount of price and you also don't have to ha worry about exchanging keys, going through that awkward Airbnb high and whatnot and having small chat with people in their homes and all that nonsense, which is not a bad thing, but if you can avoid it and you've got the money, why not? Um, so I'm going to see, but I've definitely got Amsterdam on my flipping calendar for the end of July. But back to the news. Amsterdam The School announces last ever summer program. So the legendary club over there in Amsterdam The School which I've been told by some people who are rate and I respect their opinion on techno and clubs. They've told me that the school might be better than Bergheim. Some of them have even said to me that the actual vibe in there is better. The scene is better than Berlin, which I'm really not too sure I can believe because, you know, Berlin is basically Hollywood of the fucking techno scene right it's where it kind of it basically lives and breathes people take it a little bit too seriously over there but it's still an amazing vibe especially for the weekend but i'm eager to see if that's true is it really true that the fucking vibes in fucking amsterdam are immaculate i'm eager to check it out so it says um the school has revealed its details of its final run um translating to the summer nights the parties will take place on fridays and saturdays across july and august the lineups are tba but some of the co-creators include brussels station kiosk radio techno promoter disturbia and fellow amsterdam club pamela 
The school reopened for the first time in more than two years last September for a 16-month run. It is therefore set to close for good in January 2024. It's really sad it's closing for good after everything that's happened. You would have hoped they would have been able to ride the storm and keep it going. I wonder why it's deciding to close for good. I wonder it's because of just the hassle of what happened last time with all the controversy around the discrimination and racism and abuse and bullying and blah, blah, blah that was going on and representation. I wonder if it's to do with that or is it to do with the fact that the business of clubs is just hard to kind of maintain a nightclub, even in a popping city like Amsterdam. I'm not really too sure, but it would be nice to kind of keep it around because, you know, it's basically in a form of school. So the fucking architecture of it is ridiculously unique. So is the fucking acoustics, I'd imagine, because I, didn't, I remember one time I went to this amazing house party for Halloween many, many years ago, and it was hosted in a former flipping primary school. And let me tell you, I've not heard better sound in a house party, quote unquote, ever in my entire life. And why was that? Because most of the, you know, all of the flipping, the entire building, the floors were basically laminated wood wood flooring. The really thick kind, the really thick old kind of primary school kind, right? And the sound was just bouncing off of those flipping floors and the walls. It was incredibly warm and rich in there, to be honest. And I wonder if that's the, if that's the deal with the school also. So it would be nice to see that sort of place hang around for longer. But, you know... It is what it is, I guess. Um, so here we go. We got the text here, courtesy of the school Amsterdam's Instagram account. It says, we're welcoming international DJs and local regulars into the club, as well as co-creators with collectives, organizations, and labels with exciting weekly steady, um, instead of so monthly lineup um, of announcements throughout the summer months. Keep an eye on our socials and websites. Tickets go on sale on 12th of Friday, 23rd of the 6th. So yeah, check it out. Loads of nights there to go to. I'm probably going to end up going from one of these events here on the Friday or the Saturday. Check it in. I'm actually decide to actually if i can't afford the accommodation i might actually do a thing what people some people do which is really crazy but i might do it because you know amsterdam isn't too far from london i think it's like an hour trip on the plane i might do that thing where you fly in really early on the friday you stay out all day getting crazy doing your tourist shit when the party happens at night you stay out you party and then you take the first flight back home on the saturday morning bit brutal a bit crazy but that might, that might have to be a vibe or maybe get us a, a bed for the night on the saturday and then check out sunday morning i'm not too sure i might have to see what i want but that might be an option to kind of figure it out so i can have the experience to go because i really want to see what the vibe is like because i've been meaning to go to the school for a while i've covered it on the pod for a long time i know a lot of its history how it's founded a lot of the interviews behind that i've read and stuff but i really want to touch and feel it with me on hands at some point so hopefully that happens but yeah the school last ever summer program there check it out make sure you check it in if you are that way inclined if you are that way inclined Big up the stream chat. Big up everybody chat hanging in there. Appreciate all of you here. I see ya. I see ya. La Lux, Natashki. Big up, big up, big up. Um, what are you guys saying here? Small talk with the homeowners, the worst. It's like, hi, bye. Wish you weren't here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, typically, typically, if I can afford it, I will usually just book the whole apartment personally if i can afford it um there have been times where you'd book sometimes an airbnb with a private room and the person is hardly there or sometimes they're never there like but they don't want to advertise as a free home so they'll say they're there but they actually don't live there which has happened to me a couple of times so that can happen but for the most part if you're an airbnb type of person right usually you know how to handle the small talk. You don't need to kind of have chats with everybody because, you know, some people just want to get in and get out and stuff. So it's been quite nice in that regard. But I think usually I'm the best guest, to be honest, because I stay out the whole day. I come back really late. I sleep. I wash. I shower. I go out. Like, I'm not cooking anything. That's some people will go to Airbnbs and they start cooking in the kitchen and shit, right? That's weird. I'm not doing that. I'm not cooking in their kitchen. I'm literally just in there to, like, sleep, piss, shit, shower, and that's it that's it nothing else needed whatsoever um so that makes it a far better proposition if you want me involved 